Thank you for the opportunity to present our manuscript. Turoctococcus alpha pegol or NAGP is a recombinant factor A replacement therapy for patients with severe hemophilia A. It is an extended half-life product and therefore requires less frequent dosing than standard half-life or SHL recombinant factor 8 products. Safety and efficacy of NAGP was previously demonstrated in the pivotal Pathfinder clinical trials. In Pathfinder 2 and 5, adults and children, respectively, were treated with a fixed dose of NAGP as prophylaxis, which was found to be effective and well tolerated in both patient populations. Patients from Pathfinder 2 and 5 were subsequently eligible to enroll in the recently completed long term extension study Pathfinder 8. Patients undergoing multiple major surgeries transferred from Pathfinder 2 to Pathfinder 3, during which they received NAGP, resulting in successful hemostasis for almost all major surgeries. The objective of the present manuscript was to describe a selection of patient cases reported in the Pathfinder trials to illustrate specific benefits of NAGP in the treatment of severe hemophilia A. We are going to focus on three patients today. The adult patient case presented was previously receiving standard half-life factor VIII prophylaxis every four days, for which adherence was poor and the patient experienced multiple bleeds. During Pathfinder 2, he had excellent adherence to an AGP prophylaxis and the resultant outcomes were a marked reduction in bleeding and a significant improvement in physical activity. The adult surgical case presented underwent three major surgeries for which the hemostatic response was rated as good or excellent. For the right and left knee replacements, blood loss was as expected. But for the laparotomy and pseudotumor excision, the blood loss was slightly higher than anticipated, requiring two blood transfusions. This pediatric patient case was previously receiving a standard half-life factor VIII twice per week and had an ABR of 7. During Pathfinder 5, the patient maintained twice weekly injections throughout the trial, which supported his participation in sports. His ABR decreased to 1. In the Pathfinder 5 trial, 31.7% of children had zero joint bleeds. There was also a trend for improved joint health for older children over the duration of the trial. With every additional year of prophylaxis, there were more pediatric patients who experienced zero joint bleeds. The cases reported in our manuscript encompass patients of different ages and treatment scenarios. The adult prophylaxis patients experienced considerable improvements in treatment adherence, bleeding rates, and physical activity. The adult surgical patient had good or excellent hemostatic coverage during multiple major surgeries, and the pediatric patients experienced improved joint health and were able to sustain active lifestyles. In conclusion, these patient cases emphasize the benefits of NHEP for both adults and children with hemophilia A.